Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior V. Bar L here again uh, with a product review. Uh, today we're going to review the, I uh, hope I pronounced that right, Akai Professional MPD-18 Compact Pad Controller. Now guys, I show I did a review before, you know, just a second ago, but you know, for you guys it's going to be probably in a month <laughs> uh, about this one. And you see it has its drum beats, but it's only four. If you want something a little bit more professional, you know, you get one of these. This, These are now, the, the two tools right here I'm showing you right here, these are the most affordable at the market right now, okay, for us to produce uh, music and all kinds of good stuff. Now, believe it or not, you can also uh, assign these to other things, like uh, not just drums, but even guitar sounds and chords and all that. But you need a good drum machine. You don't want to spend a fortune. This is really compact. This is really cool. Hooks up right to your USB, to your laptop, oh, to my beautiful computer. Uh... <laughs> to uh, your computer. So guys, this is a lot of fun. Uh, you can come up with a lot of uh, beats, uh, sounds, but I'm not a rapper, but those of you that do rap a lot, you know, uh, and all that in hip hop, you know, you guys want beats. This is perfect. This is all you really need. And, uh, you know, one of these keyboards right here. But, you know, I use it. I'm a rocker, you know, uh, from heavy metal to soft rock to a bu bunch of, you know, 80s music and all kinds of stuff like that I play. I play guitar, but, you know, sometimes my band's not here and I don't have drums, I don't have a backup bass, I don't have any of that. So I like to, you know, put that, compose it on my keyboard and using the drum machine, doing a couple of stuff, you know, all my effects and so on and so forth. Guys, this is a great investment. I got like both of these with the sustain pedal here for like dirt cheap. It was like, was it, 200 some odd dollars. I mean, 250 bucks, you know, you, guys, you can, you could, you could make, you could have a lot of fun with this. Now, I got it when it was on sale, so uh, I'm not sure, but dude, even... Let me tell you, I would pay 600 bucks for this. If to, to be able to have an entire band when my band's not here and uh, do the sound and you know music that I like, uh, that I'm coming up with and writing my own shit that I want my band to see before you know I go out to professionally record, that to me saves me a shit ton of time. But also at the same time, it's like it's better than just sounding it with your... I mean, how many of us did you, you know, go on a tape recorder and sound out the music in our, in our, with our lips and you know, just record it so you get that tune in your head, you know, in the shower or whatever. Imagine getting out of the shower, pumping it up, just you know, taking out your keyboard and start rocking it out with your drum machine and keyboard right here. So guys, please get this. It's a lot of fun. Believe me, it's not expensive at all. There's plenty of expensive drum machines out there, uh, you know, to that you could buy also. But you know, I don't recommend it because you know. It, it, this is really cool. I mean, I've done uh, music on this uh, for my for my TV shows uh, that I'm working on, my pilots, my movies, uh, my full features, and all that good stuff. So, guys, please, please get that. Uh, you know, it's it, it's something you definitely want to do. I mean, it beats you know getting the guitars out here and all that stuff and all my you know all that good stuff. You just you know do it all by sitting down at, at you know at your own comfort. No tuning needed. None of that stuff. You go right to it. Make the sound you want and bada bing, bada boom, you got it going on. Now, guys, I was talking about this in my other videos and I'm going to keep stressing it as much as possible. Support your local small businesses. We have a crappy president, people. He's called Obama. And, uh, you know, I, you could argue with me politically. I'm not doing, I'm not going to be arguing actually uh, in a political sense. It's just I'm stating the truth, people. Uh, he's not backing up small businesses. Uh, he's making it really difficult. A lot of people are getting fired right now and let go because of that stupid Obamacare and raising of taxes and all that crappy shit that's going on right now. So people, the small businesses are the ones that are suffering a shit ton. Okay, they are closing down. I had six of them closed down near me, uh, and I'm sure more are going to come. And these are the mom and pop shop that built America. No matter what Obama believes, the government did not build America. It was the people that built America, okay? It's the small businesses that made America what it is today, people, okay? And I have a mom and pop shop that's been around for years, a Hispanic couple that I knew ever since I was a kid, and they say, you know, they ran their own bodega. They came to this country as, uh, you know, Cuban immigrants, you know, that didn't have it, you know, worked their butts off till they made it, uh, till they got their citizenship and all that. It took years, like literally years. Their children, you know, uh, went to college, everything, you know, and, and they were left all alone, and now they're closing their business after like I don't know. I think they were here for like 30 years. I don't know, not even sure how. Yeah, about 30 years, and uh, it really breaks my heart, people, because you know it's that's what makes New York what it is. It's the melting pot. People from all around the countries. You want to have that, you know, uh, Hispanic couples, Jewish, you know, uh, Middle Eastern couples, Jewish couples, you know, uh, all kinds of different uh, people 
that you know contribute and make America what it is. That great, you know what it. That's what makes America so great. But once you start having everything controlled by government and all that stuff, we are left with crap. So guys, um, I don't know. I'm babbling right now, but uh, please just support your local small businesses. It is very, very important. Okay, these people are there for. They were there for us. Think of it as a charity of a donation. Go spend an extra 5 to $10. Who cares? Have the convenience that you can return it instead of buying from China or Pakistan or whatever and waiting years till you get it back. You have the convenience of you know giving it back. Just guys, spend like an extra 5 or 10 bucks. If it's that much, just go and buy it from your local small businesses. Uh, God bless you all. I hope you guys do the right thing. Uh, we need our bi small businesses, not just New York people. They're all around right now. We're being affected big time. So God bless us all. Hopefully in the next four years we'll have a president that actually knows what the hell he's doing. And uh, we'll see what's what. Have a good one, guys. Take care. Bye.